All right, let's turn our attention to the southern border in the aftermath of Title 42 ending last week. Our next guest took time on his recent podcast to praise the bravery and heroism of Border Patrol agents her task with dealing with this humanitarian possible crisis, the willful and uh, absence of the Biden administration is key for that. They have political superiors who undermine them, who belittle them, who insult them, and who deliberately prevent them from doing their jobs. And, and I have to say it, 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 it is a miracle that they continue to show up to work every day to protect this country. I happen to agree. It's my pleasure to welcome to the show Senator Ted Cruz from Texas. Sir, appreciate you being here. Carl, great to be with you. And, and let me start by saying congratulations on the new show. It's, it's going to be fantastic. Much appreciated, sir. So, look, the, the Biden administration has basically gutted the ability for law enforcement on the southern border to do anything of any semblance of their job. Uh, you've had a lot to say about yep. it. I saw some of your clips from, from you being down there the other day. What do you make of what's going on right now? Look, it, it is absolutely horrific. It is the worst our country's ever seen. I, w I was down on the border just last Thursday night. Uh, Thursday at midnight, Title 42 expired. And, and we've seen under Joe Biden the worst illegal immigration in the history of our nation. We've seen six and a half million people cross illegally under Biden. This is deliberate. It is a political objective that they want to achieve. And, and I spend a lot of time on our border. It has never been remotely this bad. When I was in Brownsville, just on the other side of the river in Matamoros, there were over 22,000 people camped on the, on the banks of the Rio Grande preparing to cross. They had bonfires going. They were playing music and celebrating the end of Title 42 because Title 42 was the last legal authority Biden was using to deport anybody. There are 170,000 illegal immigrants camped the entire length of the border preparing to cross in the coming days. And the result are dead bodies. The result are women who are being violently sexually assaulted. The result are children who are being brutalized by human traffickers. And, and the result is over 100,000 Americans who died of drug overdoses in the past year. It is a disaster and it keeps getting worse. Yeah, well, take a look at this headline from earlier today, though. There's been a significant drop in migrant encounters since Title 42 was lifted. Obviously, you talked about the surge earlier, but DHS has returned to implementing Title 8 policies. Democrats are basically touting this as like some sort of victory. I don't know why. But how is there such a big disconnect between what the law is, what the Border Patrol agents say needs to be done, and what the head shed is telling them to do or not do? Well, the problem fundamentally is that Joe Biden refuses to follow the law, and we've never had a president do this. Look, Barack Obama, when he, he was president, I was not a fan of President Obama, to put it mildly. But in many respects, when it came to immigration, he followed the law. And in particular, he deported millions of people. If you remember, the radical left was d denouncing Obama as the, quote, deporter-in-chief. What Joe Biden is doing that no president has ever done in our nation's history is he simply ignores the law. So what happens when you go down to the border? It's not like Border Patrol agents are hunting and looking for illegal immigrants. The illegal immigrants cross the river and they go find the Border Patrol agents. They affirmatively turn themselves in. They're carrying typically a plastic baggie with some form of identification in it and also a phone number of somewhere in the United States. They turn themselves in. And this last time I was there, they were showing me what Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas has done. He's given all the Border Patrol agents an app on their phone where they can process an illegal immigrant in as little as two minutes, scan in their ID, enter their information, and boom, they're done. And very soon thereafter, they're put on a bus or a plane and sent to every city in America, wherever they want to go. And as a very real and practical matter, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are the last mile of the human trafficking network. And that is why they keep coming. As long as Biden lets them stay, as long as he ignores federal law and won't deport them, it's not going to stop and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Well, Senator, real quick before I let you go, I have about 30 seconds left. Uh, the debt ceiling, there's been talks between Speaker McCarthy and obviously uh, President Biden. Do you, are you optimistic about this? And are you worried that the Republicans are going to give away the farm on this one? 
Uh, look, I, I am very worried that we may be headed towards a default. I, I think what the House passed was a good and reasonable bill that makes meaningful progress to reining in the out-of-control spending and debt we have. But Joe Biden and the White House's view is utterly unreasonable. They've said they're not willing to negotiate at all. And if they continue to be unreasonable, I worry that Joe Biden's not up to the task and the White House is being run by a bunch of 20-something and 30-something little Marxists. And so we're headed for a real fight, and I very much hope House Republicans hold the line and do the right thing. Yeah, noble concept, too, to recoup unspent COVID money that is just sitting there. Anyways, Senator Ted Cruz, we appreciate you joining us, sir. Yep.